In this movie, we're going to cover how to change the default font for all messages. Click the File tab and Options. Click Mail. And on the right, click Stationery and Fonts. In this dialog box, you can change the default font for all new mail messages and for messages that you reply to or forward. You can also choose the font that you'll see when you compose or read plain text messages. Under New Mail Messages, click Font. By default, Body is selected. This isn't actually a font. This is what you select if you want to use Outlook's default font. Scroll through the font list until you find the font you want, and then click it. You can see a preview down here. In addition to the font type, you can choose a font style, such as bold or italic, and a font size. Click font color and select a color if you want. You can even add an underline, or any of the other options below. Again, if you don't know what an option does, click it and see. You also have options on the Advanced tab. For more information about the Advanced options, see the course summary at the end of this course. When you're done, click OK. Now do the same thing to choose a font that Outlook will use when you reply to or forward a message. Under Replying or Forwarding Messages, click Font. Choose the options and click OK. Click the third font button to change the font you see when you're composing and reading plain text messages. Keep in mind your recipients won't see the font because plain text messages contain only text information and no formatting. When you're done, click OK and OK. Now when you click New Mail or press Ctrl N to start a new email message, the font you chose for new email is selected in the font list by default. And you can start typing using the new font. The same thing happens when you reply to an email or view a plain text message. The fonts you choose for replying and viewing plain text messages are selected by default. In the next movie, we'll format text in a message as a hyperlink.